Hi, my name is Richard Lyle. Come watch me paint the old ranch. It's a good example of line perspective in a painting. Whenever I do a building or a structure in a painting, I always do a thumbnail with a detailed drawing of the structure. Here's the thumbnail I did. You can see I left all the lines. It's just there for a reference so I can transfer this to the canvas. And I look at this while I'm working to make sure I understand the structure as I'm painting. Now it's time to transfer the drawing to the canvas. I don't do this with the details of the drawing. I keep using the drawing as I'm all through the painting. I just get the general areas where things are on the canvas. Once that's completed, I do my underpainting. Here I'm doing the underpainting in reverse color. Orange for blue, red for green, yellow for violets. Once the underpainting is done, then I do the foundation painting. With my foundation painting, that's when I start using my medium, which is 50% linseed oil, 50% paint thinner. I keep this layer thin, just spread it over like butter over the painting as a thin layer of paint, and I just block in the big shapes. It's important to work fast, get it into place. That's my foundation. Then it's time to refine the painting. With the refining of the painting, I just keep moving all around the painting. I keep making adjustments. I keep adding detail. And each layer I put on is thicker paint. That's known as fatter. This process of painting is called wet on wet. You don't want to put thin layers on top of heavy layers. You can do that after the painting is dry, but not before. Notice how I just keep on making adjustments. I may go too far someplace, and then I just add some paint and go back. Now I'm just in the clouds. I didn't like how the clouds were. And these clouds here are, are too warm in the f closer clouds. So I cooled them off a little. So that's the video. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe please.